What's up guys? This is Brent with 247parts.com, the best place online to get your John Deere parts. Now let's jump right on in and talk about changing the blades on your John Deere Z530R. Now the first thing that you're going to need to know is which blades that you need. Now on the Z530R you can have either a 54 inch or a 60 inch deck. Then you're going to have the option of either standard or mulching blades. So on a 54 inch deck, your standard blades are going to be part number M164016. And then your mulching blades are going to be part number UC28106. Now, whenever we move to that 60 inch deck, your standard blades are going to be part number M163983. And then your mulching blades will be part number UC18055. Now, right here is that list. And then also, if you are looking to order these, I'll leave a link down in the description below to each one of these so that you can get those. Now, the first thing that we need to do is get the front of the mower up off the ground high enough that we can get underneath to work on those blades, but also make sure that we're being safe when doing this. Now, what I'm going to use here is the Mojack Pro. If you haven't ever seen one of these before, or maybe if you're interested in one, I've got a video over this thing by itself. I'll make sure to drop that down in the description below. But if you don't have a mower jack specifically, you can jack up the front of this with your normal car jack. Just make sure that you are putting jack stands underneath of the mower to make sure that it is secured. And then we also might want to look at chalking our back wheels just to make sure we don't have any roll away while we're underneath. All right, so now moving underneath the mower, here is where the action happens. A couple of things that you're going to need. For one, you're going to want to have some sort of block of wood or something to help put in place to hold these blades still whenever you're taking them on and off. Then you're going to need an 18 millimeter socket and a breakover bar. And then you're also going to want to have a torque wrench to make sure you're torquing these blades down to spec on this mower, whether it is a 54 or a 60 inch. Both of these are going to be torqued down to 50 foot pounds. Now, that is going to be the tools you need if you are going the full on manual way. If you do have an electric impact, then that is an okay way to go as well. That's the way we're gonna try here. Right there, get that to come loose. Then you avoid using the block of wood, not having to wedge that in until you go to tighten it back on. And we can loosen that bolt out the rest of the way by hand. Now, whenever you're taking the blade off, what you're going to have is the blade here. Then you're going to have a washer and a bolt. Now this washer is cupped and we wanna make sure that whenever we're going back on with this washer, that we have the cup facing up, going up into the blade. Then we would take our new blade Go back on, start that up by hand. And now a lot of people are gonna say, I'll oh, just hammer it back down with your impact, but you wanna make sure that you're getting the right amount of torque on these bolts. So this is why I highly recommend using that torque wrench, using that block of wood, making sure that these are done correctly. So now what you want to do is get your blade spun around to where it is making contact here, right there where that is pinned in. Then we'll want to take our torque wrench, make sure it is set to 50 foot pounds. Start to tighten that up till we hear the click. Right there, 50 foot pounds. And we want to move our blade. Let our wood drop out and get everything out from underneath. Now, once you've gotten that done, we can start to let the mower down. Whatever jack system you have, just make sure to let that down safely. 
We can take it off of the jack system, take it out, turn those blades on, make sure that we hear that everything is sounding good, make sure we don't have any rattling, anything like that going on, and then we are good to mow. So guys, I hope this video helped you out. I hope that you liked this video. If it did, we just ask you to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Also guys, if you are needing these blades or any other parts at all for your John Deere equipment, make sure to go check us out at 247parts.com. And as always guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, make sure to go buy your parts right here and subscribe right here.